Welcome back to Giant Monster Games, I'm Adrian, and today we are starting a new project. So, something that may surprise you guys is I actually do board game design as a hobby. Well, I say it as a hobby, but I actually do it a lot. It is a hobby I do all the time. So much so that I actually want to start a series documenting the game design process and the game I'm actually currently working on. But before I actually talk about that game, let's talk about some stuff I've actually worked on in the past. If you've actually perused through the Giant Monster Games YouTube channel, you'll have found that I've done a Kickstarter project in the past called Kingdom Bots. Unfortunately, it was unsuccessful, but there's all kinds of video content explaining what the game was, how the game is played, and there's also the Kickstarter campaign, which is still on Kickstarter. Link is in the description below. You can actually go take a look at that if you want to see the kind of games I've worked on in the past, and you get to see my beautiful face, which you guys don't generally get to see on the Giant Monster Games YouTube channel. Additionally, I'm also part of a group called the Game Artisans of Canada, which is a collective of game designers in Canada, specifically board game designers, that work together to make really good games. I'll let you guys go and explore those on your own. There's a link to the Facebook page for that group, so you can actually take a look at what games they're working on, what games are currently out there in the market, and what games have actually won some awards, because some of the designers in the Game Artisans of Canada are actually pretty big names. So go take a look at that. You can find out more of what I've been doing and what has kind of led me to this point, and then as you guys follow along with the series, you'll actually see what I'm working on. Now what exactly is the project and how is it going to be broken down? So it's actually going to be two parts. There's going to be a small series about me documenting the process of the game I'm currently working on, which is called Battle for the World, which is a working title, which I'll explain more about that game in a second. The second part is going to be about board game design as a whole. So we'll be talking about different mechanics, what actually goes into making a board game, and how if you're interested and want to make your own board game, what kind of steps you should be following to actually get your game from a starting idea to a mostly finished product. This will be a series about all different kinds of stuff, all related to board games specifically. When I say board games, I do mean like collectible card games, living card games, actual board games, and party games. There's player versus player, face-to-face -face games. This is what we're really talking about. Not so much computer games. I mean, I do have some experience talking about video games and uh, designing video games, but it's not really my focus. It's not really the focus of this channel because there's a couple really, really good video game design channels out there, and I don't really want to encroach on that territory because I don't see a lot of board game design channels and board game design series. So this is the target I'm actually aiming to focus on with this series. So let me give you a quick rundown of the game I'm actually working on just so you have an idea of what we're actually be starting out with. So the game, as I said, is called Battle for the World, and it's actually, this is a working title. When you're working on a board game, you generally have a working title because it'll change down the road. The entire theme may change, so currently it's called Battle for the World. The game itself is an asymmetrical two-player game, and it is kind of built to be a CCG or a living card game. So it is, I'm playing a deck of cards, and you're playing a deck of cards, and we're playing against each other. There is two different factions. One player is playing the Federation, and the other player is playing the Rebels. No, this has nothing to do with Star Wars. It is just two words that people immediately recognize and can understand the context of what's actually happening in the game. So the Federation player, as you might expect, is playing an oppressive, controlling faction. Their objective is to actually get 10 points of control onto the table. This can be done by capturing resources from the Rebel players, or by completing plans which give them control over the Rebel player. The Rebel player, on the other hand, is also aiming to gain 10 points of control, but they're actually trying to disrupt the Federation player. So they're trying to either take over the locations the Federation player have, or to destroy the plans as the Federation player plays them. The major asymmetrical difference between these two is the Rebel player plays largely in secret. Most of their things are hidden and the Federation player doesn't know what's going on, so the Rebel player is very secretive about what they're doing, but all their stuff is kind of limited. In order to use a resource, they have to either choose to get income from it, or they have to choose it to use it for the ability. Where the Federation player doesn't have any real stops. Everything they can use usually multiple times in a single turn, but they have to pay for absolutely everything they do. Also, the Federation player plays with everything revealed, so there's never really anything secret happening on the Federation's table, and the Federation has a lot more hoops they have to jump through just to get stuff done. So this is a rundown of what the game actually is, and you can see how it's kind of asymmetrical. I'll go into more detail on how the game is actually played later on, but I just want to give you guys an introduction to see what the actual game is actually about, so you can get an idea of what we're actually working with here. And that is going to be the actual project. I'd love for you guys to leave some feedback in the comment section below. Do you guys think this is going to be interesting? Is this something you'd like to see on the channel? I know it's not directly Magic the Gathering related, but a lot of the stuff is going to be related to Magic because, again, the project I'm working on is a CCG living card game style game where it is two players playing with a deck of cards and actually trying to destroy each other, so it is very Magic the Gathering-esque in that way. And a lot of the actual game design stuff I'll talk about, I'll, I can reference Magic the Gathering, and I'll use it because Magic has a lot of really good examples in it that can be used to explain 
what makes a good game design and what makes bad game design. Also, if this is your first time to Giant Monster Games and you are coming across this as a game design, what is game design, please feel free to subscribe and follow the channel. There is lots of Magic the Gathering and other board game design stuff on this channel. Until next time, I'm Adrian, this is Giant Monster Games, and don't forget to game like a giant monster.